I had a last minute storage solution project pop up on me and this is what I'm working with. I've got 10 of these dollar store shoe boxes. I actually picked them up for a dollar each at Walmart. And this is the overall shape in which I'm wanting to achieve some type of tree design, tree structure with a main support in the middle and arms coming out to hold each individual one of these. The design criteria is each individual one of these containers needs to be able to be removed individually. Um, it has to be lightweight and easy to move around and it has to have some type of breakdown construction. I'm only going to use screws on this, no glue, and that way this entire thing can be disassembled, thrown in the car, and transported to where it needs to go. So this board will be the center support. Now I've got a rough SketchUp diagram that I'm going to go by, but I'm not exactly sure if that's going to be the final result. And the legs are going to be made out of 2x4s, so I need to make an exact width dado inside this 2x4 to slip onto this panel. And to do that, I'm going to use my exact width dado jig that I just made. The bottom legs are going to be chunks of 2x4, and I'll shape them down a little bit to remove some of their bulkiness. And the rest of the arms are going to be a one and a half inch tall by three quarter of an inch deep piece of just regular pine. To set the appropriate width for my dado, I can slide my material that I'm working with in and clamp down this floating face. And now my router can follow this to give me an exact width dado for this particular panel. Now that I know all my dimensions work, I can disassemble this thing, form my handle at the top, do my final sanding, and apply my finish.
Because this is a purely utilitarian project, I decided to experiment a little bit with the finish. This is the first time I used a 100% wax finish. This is just Tudor Brown Brie Wax, and it gives it a nice aged, kind of beat up appearance to it because of the imperfections in the wood. But I think that's gonna be just fine because the more that this thing gets used, the more character will be added to the actual project. Now, I made this specifically for my mom to use with with yarn, but really you could use it for anything. You could even use it for shoes as these shoe boxes are intended to be used for in a closet or something like that. If you'd like a detailed dimensioned diagram for this, then I do have that available on my website. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. I post a new woodworking video pretty much every Sunday and whenever possible for stuff like this, I do have plans or diagrams available. If you'd like more information on this project as well as hundreds of others that I've already done, please check out my website and while you're there, sign up for email newsletters so you don't miss a thing. There's a lot of things that I don't post on YouTube that I do post on my website. Uh, thanks for watching folks and you guys have a great day.